Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey said this year with Halloween falling on a Sunday, he expects most trick or treating to be done on Saturday. And that is when he will have all of his deputies working, patrolling neighborhoods to keep everyone safe. Every deputy, every reserve officer has to come out and work. There's uh, several people who have spent their career here at the sheriff's office that have never been able to go trick or treat with their kids because they've had to work every Halloween. So Saturday night we'll have, uh, uh, tomorrow night we'll probably have close to, uh, well over 120 deputies out. Deputies will be at their assigned location starting at 5.30 Saturday night, making sure people are driving slow and staying safe. Again, that's our number one concern is the safety of the small children uh, tomorrow night. And, and their parents, it'll be uh, some of these subdivisions will be packed with kids. And with the big trick or treating night falling on a Saturday, he says deputies will stay out late to make sure property is also protected. That after the younger kids go home, then the older kids want to come out and do some pranks, and so we'll keep deputies out later uh, to keep any uh, to keep eye on the older kids that, that want to uh, get, get into some trouble. Bailey wants the public to know there are no restrictions on sex offenders participating in Halloween. However, his deputies recently went out to make sure the ones who live in Rankin County are compliant. We've been doing a 100% compliance check on all sex offenders that live in the county. And I know we did make a few arrests. I can't tell you, I think it was two or three that we had to arrest that were non-compliant. And you can go to the Mississippi Department of Public Safety's website to look up sex offenders if you want to avoid those houses. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.